Hey guys, it's Thursday, August 21st, and I have had a very long, frustrating day at work, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I'm gonna go shower, put on some stretchy relaxation pants, make a pot of coffee, I, it's just to chill out, and then maybe I will welcome you to our library. Also, I forgot to show you the bathroom. Again! Here it is. Okay, so we have the blue on the walls and the nice little border around the top. I'm really trying not to show you just a uh, blue wall because this bathroom is really tiny, so it's really hard to do that. Anyway, um, I'm going to get rid of that thing. I'm just going to get a shelf and put that there once I have the money to do that. Okay, I feel a lot better. Comfy pants are equipped, ready to go. So right after I said that, the battery on my phone started dying and I had to plug it in. So an hour later, let's do this. The Welcome to My Library series is inspired by a Danzig video. Um, link in the doobly doobles, and Henry. Hey. So in honor of that, I'm wearing my skull scarf. Skulls. I don't really know how Everett chooses what he chooses from the library. I'm just gonna roll it and then pick what I want to talk about. It's a three. All right. Today I'm gonna talk about Mike Allred and why I love him so dearly. So back in school, I became a bit of a collector of Mike Allred memorabilia. My first credit card became an open invitation to snatch up any Mike Allred swag I could hunt down on eBay. Why? Well, it all starts here. When I first started getting into comics, I didn't really know what I liked. So I used to pick up old issues of Solo to get a taste of many different artist styles, and one of the issues I bought was this one. Being that it was sealed when I bought it, the only thing I had to go on was the cover. It had bold lines and bright colors, smooth shading, and it gave it a depth that kind of boggled my mind. Seriously. Ask Everett how many times I geeked out about this cover. Not to mention how adorable it is that Wonder Girl is doing the bat to see. Well, believe it or not, the cover alone was a great introduction into what could be expected from Mike Allred's other works like Mad Men and Red Rocket 7. I found myself swept up in the snappy humor and plot lines of these sweet and honest characters. And what's cooler is that these works are not the result of one Allred, but two. Laura Allred is the talented colorist behind what you see here. Seriously, Bay and Jay can go take a hike. This is my favorite power couple, right here. These two guys. Love him. Love him. I have to admit though that I fell out of touch with his work around the time that iZombie was released. I kept up with the first few issues, but Chris Robertson's writing really didn't speak to me in the way that Mike's does. Maybe I didn't have enough patience for this series, but others definitely took notice of it. An iZombie TV series is set to be released this year. There's more I could show you and much more I could talk about, but I'll spare you my fangirling. For now, I'll just wrap it up. So that concludes the tour of my library today. There is no gift shop, but I do recommend that you run out and buy a comic by Mike Allred and check it out for yourself. With that, I think I'm going to call it a whale of a day. So have yourself one. <laughs>